you excited to be with us this morning? Wonderful. Wonderful. Praise the Lord. Let's pray. Father, thank you so much for this wonderful privilege. Speak to our hearts like never before in Jesus' name. Amen. All right. So we're winding down on, um, on our seven great principles, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, they are principles that helps you to understand salvation. Yeah. Amen, somebody? Amen. Amen. I don't want you awake. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's principles that helps you understand salvation. It, it's very key because uh, there are a lot of misunderstandings about Christianity, about Christians. Um, just like Nicodemus, it was very clearly uh, uh, stated in uh, Nicodemus' uh, a story with Jesus in John chapter 3, where um, Nicodemus went to Jesus and then Jesus told him, you must be born again. And then he said, wow, what's this? Should I, should I go back into my mother's womb, a big man like me, and be born again? And um, Jesus said, no, that which is born of the flesh is flesh, and that which is born of the spirit is spirit. Yeah. And so a, a, lot of, a lot of Christianity is spiritual, first yeah. and foremost, yeah. before it manifests in the flesh. I remember when Jesus met the woman at the well in Samaria, the woman was saying, oh, uh, some when our, 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 I think our, our forefather or somebody, Joseph, uh, Jacob's well, mm -hmm. something, he spoke about it, and then Jesus said, they that worship in, uh, in God must will, will, will worship him in spirit and in truth. Yeah. Do you get it? So, so Christianity is a very spiritual thing. Yeah. It, it, it's, not, it, it's not physical, like, in, in the law of Moses, for example, uh, was it Jesus? Jesus said that if somebody slaps you on the right, yes. give him the yes. left. Yes. Oh, how? Jesus. I mean, how, how do you, how do you, oh, <laughs> did, you did you feel what I felt? You, can, you can't tell me actually. <laughs> but, but, but it is spiritual. It is not, it's not the physical things. The Bible says the weapons of our warfare, they are not carnal. Yeah. They are not things that people see. That we wrestle not with flesh and blood. So, Christianity is very, 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 very spiritual because we serve a spiritual God. That's right. That's why many people are confused because have you have you seen God? Is a man? Is a pastor? Is a man? Is a, no, but with all the physicality, there's a lot of strong supernatural backing. That's right. And that's what that's what we're looking at, so that it helps you in your salvation yeah. and in your serving of God. Yeah. And so we're saying that the first principle, if you remember, I'm finishing today by the grace of God. Oh. The first principle. Um, I think Rudy is going to do his best for me today. Rudy is a wonderful church member, a media, oh, yes. a head of media crowd. Oh, yes. <laughs> the principle number one says that man is a spirit, uh, has a soul, and lives in a body. Man is a spirit, has a soul, and lives in a body. Uh, First Thessalonians chapter 5 says, and it says, that, And the very God of peace sanctify you wholly, and I pray God your whole spirit and soul and body be preserved blameless unto the coming of our Lord uh, Jesus Christ. Principle number two says what? Studio audience. The spirit of an unsaved man is dead and desperately wicked. If you experience a wickedness, you, you are definitely experiencing the spirit of an unsaved man. Are you with me? Yeah. Bible says the heart is deceitful above all things and desperately Wicked, who can know it? Principle number three um, is what? The spirit of a saved man is righteous and truly uh, holy. The spirit of a saved man is righteous. It's righteous. That, somebody who's saved there. Somebody who's saved. He may be smoking. He may be drinking. But his spirit. <laughs> and when I say this, if, if you're from the old order, or, or you are very uh, holier than thou, or you're a Pharisee, you say, oh, what is the man talking about? But spiritual things are very different from physical things. I mean, just like somebody said, um, I mean, not somebody's, but I think it's, been, it's something that has been propagated uh, 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 for a while now. The devil, if, the devil doesn't come with red eyes and two horns and no. black teeth. No. no, 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 no. The devil comes in a very nice way, in a nice person, in a very impressive person. But, but you see, out of the niceness is... Behind the niceness is a spirit that is wicked. That's right. That's right. That's right. I mean, somebody comes to you, 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 you. I mean, a man sees you on the road or something, or you meet somebody uh, at a workplace. You know, a guy, your colleague, and he say he likes you, and you know, he's following you, buying things for you, calling you, and all of that. You will not believe that five years later, hey. that seven years later, hey. 
that this person can do something bad and wicked to you. Wicked? It, it, it's, it's not the front. It is what is behind. Wow, you are preaching. Are you with me? You are and preaching. there are things behind. So the spirit of a saved man, the spirit of a saved man, the spirit that we can see, the spirit that Jesus has washed away, the, the spirit that Jesus has, has, has renewed and replaced and regenerated, that is righteous Amen. and truly holy. Amen. People only do things because of the flesh, because of the old mind or the old body. Are you with me? Oh, are you with me? Oh, yes. Principle number four. What does it say? After you are born again, your, your spirit, spirit is a newborn baby and it must grow. grow. Read your Bible. Pray every day. Pray every day. If, if I would tell you, if you ask me, you see, if you ask me one major uh, challenge in ministry in Guyana, I will tell you reading Bible. <laughs> it's true. All right. All right. Uh, if, you, if you ask me, oh, after all the years you, you, you've spent in Guyana, I mean, you know, you come with a, maybe I don't want to come with this microphone and say, okay, can you tell us, Bishop Collins, can you tell us, you know, all the years you've been ministering, what is the major problem, you know, of Christianity in, in Guyana? I'll say, reading the Bible every day. Yeah, it's true. Major problem. Major problem. Many Christians don't read their Bible. And many read, they don't even understand. See, reading the Bible is not like a storybook. You read again, again, like I'm, I'm telling you about seven great principles of salvation. The Bible is a black and white printed book in different languages, different translations. Yet, there's a spirit behind it. That's right. That's right. That can make the written words become so powerful, you'd be surprised. But is, is, this, is this in the Bible? Is this words from the Bible? Is this what the Bible is saying? Yes, the words, the Bible says, Jesus said, the words that I speak unto you, they are spirit. The Bible can become spirit and it, beca it can become life. Amen. To your life and to your soul. Amen. Are, you, are you with me? Oh, yes. So the spirit of a saved man is what? Uh, no, after you are born again, your spirit is a newborn baby and it, it, must, it must grow. Principle number five says what? After you are saved, your mind is still the same. It must be renewed. <laughs> Charlie, your mind must be renewed, though. <laughs> I'm telling you, your mind, eh, you can be saved, you can be going to church, but you may be thinking the same way since you were born. Everything looks the same. Everything is the same. You see blue, <laughs> you say it's blue. But when you become a Christian, blue is never blue. Oh, yes. I said, when you become a Christian, blue Amen. is never blue. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. Is it, is, it, is it not so that normally in, in cultures, cultures where people have been trying to find God and look for God, and then they, they, use, they use means to live their lives. I was watching a, a, a clip the other day, and um, there's this hunter who has eight children, and um, he, um, he, he, he's been hunting almost all his life, hunting, hunting in the day, in the morning, in the night. He has eight children. Six of them are okay. The last two, they behave like monkeys or animals. Hey! If you if you see them, how they are, they are they are, they are off. They are they are they are they are very they are not normal. I mean, they are not normal. You know. So somebody was interviewing him, and it was like I didn't even finish the whole clip. It was quite a long clip. It was like what he's been hunting, the animals he's been killing. He has probably killed an animal that he was not supposed to kill. Hey! <laughs> I'm telling you. So in Christianity, blue can never be blue. Amen. It can never be blue. That's why when you when you when you when you when you sleep and you dream that you are dead and you are in a coffin, it does not necessarily mean that you are going to die. <laughs> <laughs> don't, don't let don't, the Bible say. We, you see, Bible says we see in part. We see it. there are so many things that you can be so wrong about when it comes to Christianity. That is why the mind must be renewed because the scripture says that that is when you can accept that which is good, that which is perfect, and the acceptable will of God. That which is good, acceptable, and the perfect will of God. Because if your mind is not renewed, a lot of things will cloud your mind. Hallelujah. That's principle number five. Principle number six. My God, you are <laughs> The Bible says, after you are saved, your body, your body is still the same. Hey! You must keep it under control. Hey! You see, as, as I talk about this, as I talk about this, I, I remember, you, you see, you see, it's like when you are growing. When you are young, 
when I'm around the young people and we are doing any work, you get it? The, 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 I see how they work. And I see how when I pick up one or two things, I realize that, you know what? Hey! <laughs> the body is still not the same. <laughs> the body is not the same. <laughs> I'm telling you. <laughs> so sometimes I do some few things around the house. You know, I do this. I wash the car. I do this here. Water plants. You know, things like that. And sometimes when, when you go and lie, I sit down. I say, hey! <laughs> Charlie! You see, <laughs> even, though, even though I'm alive, my body is still not the same. Yeah. As, so if, if, I, if I relate to that dome, Adam is alive. I am alive. That's right. We all have life. That's right. But my body and Adam's body are not the same bodies. That's right. In the same way, after you are saved, your body is still the same. You hey. must keep it under control. Hey. You must keep it under control. Hey. That's why people can come to the church and do all kinds of bad things. Yeah. You see, many bad things in the church are done by Christians, yeah. real yeah. Christians, yeah. people who are saved, but whose bodies who are, not, who are not keeping their bodies under control. Mm. That's what it is. So, so it, it doesn't make the church a bad church. It doesn't make the church a wrong church. That's except right. that you, the church is filled with people who are not keeping their bodies under control. It's people who are not renewed their minds. So, so everything's that like, when you are taking offering, you say, ah, it's for the pastor. Ah, it's for this. That, 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 the person is saved. Unfortunately or fortunately, the person is saved. <laughs> the only problem is that the mind is not renewed. Which must be renewed. Principle number, where are we? Seven. And we, are, we, are, we are seven. Yeah. No, so six. Six. Let me just finish a few mm. things in six. Well, how much time do I have, really? If I don't have time, then let me go to principle number seven. Let's do seven. Principle number seven. Really, let me do seven and then we're going down today, huh? All right. Because Rudy wants is writing the notes. He does want to come and write the notes on the other side. After you are born again, your mind is still open to all kinds of thoughts. You must learn to think on the right things. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Ooh, your mind is still open. Open. So this one is not like you have to renew your mind. Your mind is still open yeah. to all kinds of thoughts. You must learn to think on the right things. Yeah. Now, when you are a Christian, you think about right things. That's right. Wrong things will, ha will, will come into your mind, isn't it? Yeah. Like how people see things, people read things, uh, people, and then they say all kinds of things about it. Yeah. I don't want to go into yeah. into details yeah. but it, it is normal for people who are christians uh, who are minds are oh, uh, all of us thoughts come into our head yeah yeah thoughts oh, come yes. into our mind oh, I mean, yes. have you not if you are married have you not thought of, of maybe you know quitting or leaving before oh, yes. i mean it's too much I, no no today i'm not going home <laughs> today i don't want to go home you know or let's say you, you are you are you are working somewhere and then the issues at work and all of that. Uh, well, you know, when you wake up in the morning, when they say, you know what, my hand, me and all these people, but, but you yeah. still go. You see, the as for the mind, it will be open to so many things. Yeah. Just be careful the kind of thoughts you entertain. My God. I remember many years ago, a preacher said that you cannot prevent a bed to, to, to land on your head, but to allow the bed to build a nest all on right. your head. All That's right. a different thing. Right. It, it means that as for opportunities to do bad things, opportunities to say wrong things, opportunities to insult people, opportunities to, 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 to say things that are, you're not supposed to say, as well, it comes. Those who are not able to follow that opportunity are people who dispel those thoughts. I mean, just, just, let's say you're driving on a harbor bridge and then you get a thought that driving to the river. It, it, it has happened. Yes. It, it must. It must come. That's why I am happy to to an extent that I think they used to. People used to walk on the side of yeah. the bridge. I think they've stopped it. Yeah. No, it's a, it's a very very dangerous thing. Yeah. Very very. Even bicycles and motorbikes yeah. is so yeah. dangerous because there's a part that has no railing. That's right. Hey, if a thought comes into your head hey. at that point. Ah. My I'm God. telling you, my God. Oh, my God. You will be you. Your name, your last name will become Demerara. Hey. <laughs> you will be in the Demerara River. 
Oh, I tell you, you will do Olympic what? Swimming. <laughs> uh, swimming, synchronized swimming yeah. or something like that. Second <laughs> uh, Corinthians chapter 10 and verse 5. Let's look at this scripture. Second Corinthians chapter 10 and verse 5. Look at what the Bible says here. The Bible says that casting down imaginations, imaginations, and every high thing that exalted itself against the knowledge of God and bringing into captivity every thought, every, bringing into captivity every thought to the obedience of Christ. My God. Oh my, I, 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 I my wish God. we had time for this scripture. But the scripture brings down, casting down, imagining, imaginations, things that comes into your mind. Let me say this. Let me call this and abuse them. Let me do the, the things, the imaginations. I will kill. I will do something bad. Look at somebody who died the other day. Some, some, you know, some guy who used to come to our church many years ago. I had a child mother just threw Carol on him and then they set him on fire. My God. I mean, when, when, that, when that came into the woman's head, it was an imagination. That's right. It was an imagination. So this person's mind has been open. Now, even people who kill people. People who kill people. Think about it. Like the guy who went to shoot President Trump. Mm -hmm. The attempted assassination. Mm -hmm. The guy, he, he went to buy bullets. His father blessed him with a gun, a rifle. And the day before, he went to a store, a gun store, and he bought bullets. He had imagined killing the MAGA president. <laughs> it, it, was, it, was, it was imagined. You see, this, that is why the Bible says that the, the, the casting down, the fighting, Christianity really, the fight is in people's head. Wow. People's, what is in people's head? All right. What people think about you, how people see you. The, the fight is in the head. And how you as a Christian, as a newborn Christian, somebody who has, who has left darkness and has come into the light, how you can progress and maneuver with thoughts and imaginations that come, that or care, that are not wholesome, that are not clean, that you suppress and that you not allow. Because if you're driving on the Mirror Harbor Bridge and you feel like, or you, you hear, uh, you, you feel like driving into the river. Would you, would you do that? Oh would you, do you think about it? Think, what kind of mind is that? What kind of thought is that? What kind of thing is this? Look at how Ham, Ham went to, uh, 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 what? Uh, uh, tell about his father. Yeah. Look at that. I mean, well, look at it. Look at, think about it later on. What, 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 what happened? So, so the, the fight, the fight in Christianity and for that matter, for you to do well, is thoughts. And the Bible says that imaginations are cast down. The weapons of our, the Father forces, the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but they are mighty to the pulling down of strongholds. When you think of strongholds, you are thinking of a witchcraft. Yeah. You are thinking of yeah. some Obia man. Yeah. You are thinking of some uh, 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 idol somewhere. But the stronghold, the Bible says, and casting down imaginations. These are strongholds. What people think, eh? What people think. <laughs> what people, that's why, what people think about you, it should not move you at all. At all. Oh. <laughs> what people say about you should not matter at all. at all. Jesus said, I do not receive honor from men. Yeah. No man called you. No man saved you. No man chose you now, for on. any man to have an opinion you about you. you for preaching. you to be moved or to be you buckled or to, or, to, or, to, or to fall under that. Opinions? Oh, Jesus My Christ. <laughs> opinions are for those who believe in opinions and are affected that's by right. opinions. That's right. that's Jesus right. said, Jesus knew it. Jesus said, I am I, I honor from men, for men to see me in a good way. That, that's what I'm saying. Christianity, blue is not blue. Blue is not blue. When you see blue, it could be death. When you see blue, it could be life. When you see blue, it could be uh, uh, royal. When you see blue, it could be rain. Blue is not blue. Things are not straight. Like you, you, you in the world as in Christianity. My God. And so things that people imagine. I, I, did you get that part? Yeah. What people say, think about them, it's not so important. No. Why? Because as for imaginations, we are casting them down. Yeah. 
and, he, and he down. says that and everything that exalted itself against the knowledge knowledge is also in the head that's right you know it's in your head it's in your mind and then he says and bringing it to captivity every thought is also in the mind my god so christian brother christian sister your major battle when you get saved when you get saved you see uh, well, I, I, I think I have time for this. I, I, when I was in Europe, I was in Europe, oh, okay. I was in Europe, I was working, and, and there was a Moroccan girl who always used to talk to me very nice. I, I thought she liked me. Meanwhile, the girl had, you know, her, her, her husband or beloved or, or, or uh, uh, boyfriend picture on the table. But the way she would talk to me, I, my, my, yeah, my, 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 mind, my mind told me, man, the girl like you. Imagination. It's yeah. thought. You have to control that yeah. mind. He, he, yeah. She doesn't like you. She doesn't like you at all. It's your mind. <laughs> I tell you, help me, Jesus. Help me, Lord. Father, thank you for speaking to us today and bringing seven great principles to a great conclusion in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. If you are not saved, you are not born again. It takes a simple prayer. I'm telling you, a simple prayer can move you from hell into the heavenly realm of God. Say this prayer with me. Heavenly Father, I am a sinner. Forgive me of my sins. Wash me with the blood of Jesus. Uh, I believe with my heart. I confess with my mouth that Jesus lived and died for me. And I receive Jesus Christ into my heart to be my Lord and my Savior. Thank you, Father, for saving my soul. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. God bless you. If you pray that prayer, I'm telling you, something has happened to you that you don't understand. Remember, in Christianity, blue is not blue. blue. Call that number, message us. Uh, please don't take it for granted. Don't take it for granted. Don't just pray and not call. Call. I believe that uh, God has something uh, very wonderful for you. All right? It's time for offering. You know, give with a joyful heart. Uh, 614-7909. If you can't see the number, well, I'm, I'm, I'm repeating it to you. 614-7909. MMG. And of course, the uh, Scotia Bank account, right? The gift, and it shall be given back unto you. The Bible says, good measure, pressed down, shaken together. And running over shall God, shall God cause men to give unto your bosom. Um, August is a beautiful month for great blessings. Oh, August means big. Blessings. And so as you give, may you receive a big harvest. Father, let the biggest of harvest be given as your people give towards uh, this ministry. In Jesus' name. Um, have a blessed and a prosperous week. I'll see you again.